Hello from New Zealand, one of the most naturally beautiful countries in the world. <laughs> Incoming call for you. New Zealand's an island country with two main islands with very easy names to remember. We're on the North Island and the other? So. <laughs> so smart. New Zealand is far, even from Australia. It took us three hours to get here from Sydney. The country is so isolated that, as crazy as it might sound, it's even forgotten in some maps. <laughs> but as you discover in this series, it is very worth it to come here. Can you see some cables yeah. coming down? Yeah. You know what they're for? To hold the building up. Oh, come on! Oh, nice one, God. Go back to Brazil. <laughs> This is Auckland, and we are more precisely on the northern part of the North Island, where the weather tends to be mild compared to the south. Remember, here we are in the southern hemisphere, so the further south you go, the colder the winter. No wonder roughly one-third of the population of the entire country live right here. This is how important this city is. In this first video in Auckland, we walk around the most famous area and discover some of the traditions in New Zealand. The best part, it's all within walking distance. That's the Harbour Bridge. It's a very important bridge here. But here there's something very unique that I've never heard in any other major city. You can jump off the bridge. That's what I was about to ask you. I beat you to it. You can bungee jump from that bridge. New Zealand is very well known for extreme sports. In fact, there's a city in the South Island, Queenstown, known for that. Not really our thing, right? Oh. Oh, I like a thrill once in a while. You can jump off the bridge. You go first. <laughs> there is an interesting structure over here. I think it's just for the views. From here, you can have a pretty good idea about this area. This used to be totally industrial. It is still a little, but based on what I read online, it has transformed a lot in the last few years. Andando. They present this as the newest residential area in Auckland. Oh, really? This one right the here. The newest. Yeah, it's all reclaimed land. Reclaimed from who? From the ocean. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it used to be industrial before. Now it's residential. Now it's residential and supposedly really nice. I'm reclaimed. You're talented. Super genius. <laughs> This park here is called Silo Park. We're at the very end of the waterfront from the Central Business District. And the great thing is that we can walk all this now. Such a cool area, full of rations and cafes. <laughs> Incoming call for you. <laughs> This means hello in Maori. Maori is another official language here in New Zealand, and you actually see Maori everywhere. Everything is in the two languages. We need quarter. We're here now, gonna cross the bridge and discover this area. From here, in 15 minutes, you're anywhere. Okay, gotta wait for the bridge to close now. Yay! <laughs> Everybody greeting. <laughs> This is Viaduct Harbor. It's like the place to be. Auckland is New Zealand's largest city, and Viaduct Harbor is a favorite place to hang out on beautiful and warm days. Here they have more boats per capita than any other place in the world. Between the two harbors, because it's not only this one here. You know the America's Cup is here, the sailing championship? Really? I didn't know. When you think of seeing all the restaurants, a lot more just appear out of the blue. So next stop is right here. The best place in this area to see all this beauty is up there. Now, here's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Can you see some cables yeah. coming down? Yeah. You know what they're for? To hold the building up. Oh, come on. Look at this. You can sky jump. Ah! Did you know if you buy the ticket online, you still need to go through the line? <laughs> but it's cheaper, worth it. We already learned a few things over here. Look at that. The elevators go at 18 kilometers per hour. Last 
This is the area we were walking earlier. Be here, be here, not yet. Be here, not yet. Be here, not yet. Be here, yes, yes. Well, I didn't know if you could climb the Big Ben. See that land? That land? That's yeah. the railway. That's an old volcano. Guess how many volcanoes we can see from up here? 30. 50. 50. I was going to say 50, but... Look at all their volcanoes. One of the oldest. And here, the youngest and largest. It's a very well-known landmark here. A volcano that really looks like a volcano. Won't you come up here? Go? Yeah. What are you waiting for? <laughs> the glass floor. As strong as the concrete you're standing on. I always freak out a little. Look at this, there's a cafe over here with a ton of seats. This is Devonport. It's a small town we hope to visit in this trip. Do you see that uh, obelisk? This is a historical place here. It's an important place to visit. This other hill over here is a dormant volcano, and we are going to that one. Oh, look at the distance is from here. Rio! Woohoo! Wow, New York, 14,000 miles away. Here's the view from the 60th floor. Same thing. Yeah, not much difference. This floor below here, that's where people jump from. <laughs> Is there a rainbow in the volcano? It's right on top of the volcano, huh? In New Zealand, when you see a field, it's probably rugby. Next. I thought this was a pedestrian only street. <laughs> Apparently not. There are other attractions here in this area, and you can buy combo tickets at a discount. So we combined the tower with something that I believe will be very unique. Oh, look at you! <laughs> New Zealand is very famous for the national rugby team. They're known as All Blacks. You know why All Blacks like this? Supposedly it was a typo in a British newspaper, meaning All Backs, that eventually got reprinted as All Blacks. So it just stayed. That was like in the beginning of the 20th century. Photos and video, you guys can take as many photos as you guys like them for. The only thing that we ask of you is those videos we take off. You get to see the haka here in the experience, and it is fantastic. It's just a shame you cannot film it. What is the haka? What was that originally used for? It's a sport played in Canada. <laughs> a haka. Hockey. <laughs> Haka. What is the meaning? Yeah. We're gonna destroy you. Yeah, it's like a preparation for war. A war dance, yeah, but also it's a way to celebrate and entertain. The first time that the All Blacks performed the Haka was in 1888. They were touring the UK and Australia. Originally, it was something just performed abroad. In the Maori culture, follow the pronoun. It's believed that if you place your hand on the pronoun, you're able to leave a little bit of your love, your mana, your mana, and good wishes for the players. You could be a player, look at that. No, <laughs> no you be. couldn't be a player. <laughs> so here in New Zealand, um, rugby is our national sport. It's number one, two, three, four, and five, yeah? So we're we'll rugby crazy. Gordon, became a fan, huh? Sure. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at that last one, Gordon. You just got to do three and you won. <laughs> Go back to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it again? <laughs> oh. Yay! We end up here after the tour. It's a place where you the know. games. They should place that first. We just left the building and it is raining now. It totally changed. The weather here is a little interesting. What do you do when it's raining? Go back to the room. No, come on. You eat. 
And along the way, let me tell you something very interesting about New Zealand. New Zealand was the last habitable place on Earth settled by humans. Doing some research online, I discovered that the Polynesians only arrived here in like the 13th or 14th centuries. And then they established a very distinctive culture here called the Maori culture. I'm not sure it was very clear when I mentioned the Maori before, but that's what it means. It's this culture. And the rugby team honors their traditions in every match. It reminds you of? The city like Vancouver, I think. Even the weather, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the boats. The rain. <laughs> the rain. The, water. <laughs> the waterfront, yeah. Look at this nice pedestrian street here. This is like a really fancy food square, you know? And very moody, you feel like intimate, dark in the middle of the day. Thank you. Look at that. Wow. What'd you get? Mine is fettuccine Alfredo, my favorite. You try mine before you try yours? Yeah. <laughs> That's so you. <laughs> what did you get here? Mushrooms, ham. Ham. And um, tomato, cheese, and dough. Good? Yes, it's called the dinero. Oh, go on, yeah. <laughs> Guess how much was everything? 21. Yeah, cheaper than Australia, you know, for a place like this. Good. Very good. I bet it's the best you've ever had. It could be. She always says. It could be. <laughs>